the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. It could change physics forever. The revamped Large Hadron Collider LHC is due to be restarted after a two-year hiatus. Described in some reports as a monstrous underground atom smasher, the LHC is the world's most powerful particle collider, and it's already revolutionized physics with the discovery of the Higgs boson. Higgs boson's ability to give mass to most elementary particles has earned it the nickname the God Particle. The LHC is expected to run faster than ever and is predicted to reach its highest collision energy by June. It's on course to smash all records and solve some of the biggest mysteries in physics. After years in the repair shop, the world's most complex machine is coming out of hibernation. Scientists are hitting the restart button on the Large Hadron Collider. Straddling the French Swiss border, what's been called the Big Bang Machine consists of a 17-mile underground ring. There, subatomic particles travel at almost the speed of light and are smashed together, allowing scientists to sift through the aftermath in an attempt to answer unsolved questions about things like dark matter, supersymmetry, and extra dimensions. The LHC is a science experiment that took decades to come together. The LHC was finally up and running in 2008. For the first time, a beam of protons steered around the collider, but it wasn't a smooth start. Nine days later, an electrical problem damaged the machine. About one year and $40 million in repairs later, the machine was back online and the payoff was colossal. In 2012, CERN announced the discovery of the elusive Higgs boson, the so-called God particle, thought to explain how other particles get their mass. But the following year, the $10 billion proton collider was taken offline for refurbishing. Now, it's being fired up again. This run is due to go through 2017. With the upgrades, particles can collide together at even higher energies, giving scientists another chance to unlock the mysteries of our universe. The Large Hadron Collider is being fired up this week after a two-year hiatus, and a group of scientists believes that the results could prove the existence of parallel universes. Scientists believe that a second run of the LHC could produce or detect miniature black holes, which they argue could point to entire universes hidden away in higher dimensions folded into our reality. Now the LHC will be powered to its highest ever energy levels, about double those of its last run. And if these scientists are right, the new run could uncover black holes tucked away in dimensions beyond the four that we interact with in our daily lives. So the book of Revelation opens up the future for us. So in Revelation chapter number nine and verse one, the scripture says, And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared to battle, and on their heads were as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. They had hair as the hair of a woman, and with teeth were as the teeth of lions. 
and they had breastplates, as it were breastplates of iron. The sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions, and there were stings in their tail. Their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew is Abaddon. But in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. Woe, one woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. Now what I'm going to preach you this morning may be one of the most important messages that I've ever preached in all the years that I've been preaching the Word of God. But what I have studied has alarmed me greatly to the point to where I need to get this material out to you that are listening. I originally had planned to preach this tonight, but the Holy Spirit changed my mind and said, preach it in the morning. So this morning I'm going to preach you a message about something that is happening right now. It's in CERN, Switzerland. Now you may not be aware of what's going on over there, but there's a thing over there that's called a Large Hadron Collider. And it is an accelerator. It accelerates particles and then brings them to the point of collision. So this Large Hadron Collider was started up just a few days ago and it's still in the initial process of being brought online completely. You say, what in the world does something like that have to do with me and the Bible? It has a lot to do with you and the Bible. It makes an application to your life and to this world as we know it today. For what is happening in that collider is an astounding thing. So I want to read something to you this morning from a theoretical physicist, Stephen Hawking. And he is one that some rate even on the level of Einstein. Listen carefully. These are the words of Stephen Hawking. He recently warned the reactivation in March of CERN's Large Hadron Collider could pose grave dangers to our planet. The ultimate reality, check, we are warned. Hawking has come straight out and said, the God particle, and this is what you've heard referred to time and again as the Higgs boson particle, the God particle found by CERN could destroy the universe. Now let that settle in. This man is an atheist, and he says there is no God. Yet he says that what's happening right now in CERN, Switzerland, and I'll give you what they're trying to do in a moment, what's happening at this very minute in CERN, Switzerland, has the potential to destroy the universe. Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has also sounded the alarm by telling anyone who might want to blow up a planet how to do so is this CERN's attempt to do so by attempting to recreate the Big Bang within a man-made structure. This has frightened Stephen Hawking so much. Do they know that they know that they know what they are doing? Ask yourself, how much energy is keeping it together? Then you put more than that amount of energy into the object, it will explode. I've quoted two physicists. These are scientists. These men do not agree with what's happening in CERN, Switzerland right now. There is a 17 mile long accelerator that lies 300 feet beneath the surface of the ground. This area is where France and Switzerland come together. So part of this accelerator is located in France and part of it in Switzerland. It is a joint European project. The United States of America is there as an observer, but the, but the brain power that's going in to this experimentation originates in Europe. They are attempting to recreate what they believe happened that brought all of this into existence as being the Big Bang. Now you and I know from the book of Genesis chapter number one that in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. He spoke it into existence. They are finding things, and this is what's important for us to understand today. They are Obrigado pela audiência. Forte abraço do canal Vander Reis. Link do grupo do Telegram de informações restritas na descrição.
se inscreva no nosso canal na plataforma Odissei, que te paga para assistir vídeos.